Well, hello, school counselors and school counselors to be. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, The Inspiring School Counselor. And today, you guys, we're going to be getting into an inspiring question. One of you have sent your question to me, and I thought, what better way for me to answer it than to do it in a video? Because maybe you that is watching might be wondering about the same exact thing. So we can help each other out, okay? And so with that, if it is that you have a question that you would like to send, that you might want to be featured on one of my videos, please make sure you send it to the inspiring school counselor at gmail.com and I will get to it as soon as I can. All right, so let's get into this question. Um, I have notes also written on my phone, you all, because I was like, I don't want to leave nothing out. All right, so the question is, if a student discloses abuse to their teacher, then you talk with them and report it. Do you have to follow up with them, with that student? And if so, how often? First of all, I think that this is a great question. And to be honest, you guys, it's not really no right or wrong answer because it just depends on maybe the school district you're working in, the school you're working with, the principal that you have. Um, it just depends. You know, I remember being in graduate school and I don't even remember them talking to us about if there's a certain amount of times you have to follow up with a student if it is that you put in a report. Okay. But I can just tell you guys through my experience. And that's one of the things that you're going to learn is that it's most of the things that you're going to learn about this profession is through experience. Just to be clear, there is not a certain amount of follow-ups that you have to do with that student. And that's even if you have to do follow-ups at all. Sometimes, and I will say this, is that you might have your principal or your administrator, they might ask you to check in on a student, um, but that might not be every case. Another thing that I want to mention is that even when you're thinking about doing follow-up, so let's say if it is a true report, okay, let's say they actually found something and so it has been accepted there, the child is assigned a CPS or a DCS uh, a case manager. Um, things that you can keep in mind is that, well, you wouldn't have to follow up with them if it is that that child is removed, okay? Maybe that child is removed from the school because it is an actual case, it's an active case, and they had to remove the child away from the family, okay? So then, of course, you wouldn't do a follow-up. Also, maybe it's like an open case to where, you know, maybe it's about to go to court. They might not want you to talk to the students about what is going on. Hopefully, if it is that case, the, the Child Protective uh, Services case manager or the Department of Children's Services case manager will reach out to you. One thing that I have found working in this profession, especially where I'm at in the county that I'm in, is that there's not really a communicative relationship between CPS, DCS, and the school counselors. You know, I have ran into many times where there has been a case opened up on a student and we not know what's going on, but there has been times where whenever I put in a DCS referral, um, there's a part on there where I'm able to put my work email in. And so they will send me a notification that the case has been picked up, okay? And so that lets me know, okay, the child is being seen, all right? So they're looking into this situation. And also they'll let me know if the case has not been picked up. So that's very helpful as well. But as far as talking to the DCS case managers, there, ha there has been maybe a few case managers that actually you know, communicated with me. Another thing is if it's a lot of trauma going on with the child, you might kind of want to tread lightly in the sense of you might not want to open up a lot of things. You might want to leave that to an actual therapist or whatever that they have in place for that child. So just look at the situation. Like I said, that my principal has let me know that they wanted me to check up on a student um, that the case has been picked up on and I would just follow up with that student and just see how they're doing. I might say, hey, how's your day going? Going, how's things going at home? It's just doing an overall check-in. If you are going to do follow-ups with a student, there's a couple things that you can keep in mind and that you can do. For one, you can just see how comfortable the student is with you with checking in on them. And so that could be as simple as you going to them and letting them know that you are there for them. If it is that they ever want to talk to you about what's going on, that your doors is open. Um, and then you can also ask them if it is that they want you to just check in with them. And so so you guys can work on a schedule. And so you can really let that be morally student led and they can come to you initiate it and not necessarily you coming to them. But there's not a, an absolute answer to this question. 
you just have to go by the feel of the environment, you know, the people you're working with, what's already in place, what they want you to do, as well as what you feel comfortable with and what the student is comfortable with. So I hope that this was able to help you guys. If it is that I left out anything or you feel like you can add to this, please make sure you put it down in the comments below because not only would I like to read it and learn from it, but also I know others would like to read it as well. And once again, if you have any questions that you want to send to me please make sure you send them to my email the inspiring school counselor at gmail.com i thank you guys so much for your time make sure you um like subscribe and share this video put post it on your school counseling groups that you're a part of um and just spread the word about the inspiring school counselor channel thank you guys and have a great day